Hi guys, another quick paracord project today. This one is a triangle stitch keychain. It has this triangular profile and it's done by tying three strand crown knots in one direction and then alternating and then tying the crown knots in opposite directions. So watch through. You can make these pretty quickly as gifts for your friends and family. To make this one I am using three pieces of paracord and each of these pieces are 40 centimeters long which is around about 16 inches and as you can see two of them I have already just fused together just by using some heat and you are also going to need a split ring. I'm going to start with my single piece of paracord and I'm just going to feed that through my split ring here and then I'm going to take my fused section and put that on top of that single piece and then I'm just going to pinch it off where they cross and I'm going to take my single piece over that yellow piece going anti-clockwise I'll take this right hand piece right around over that red and then I'm going to take this red piece over this yellow piece and down through that loop there and when I tighten up this yellow piece I want it to go around this tag end so the tag end points up so just be a little bit careful draw it together trap that tag end and then tighten this up and you should have the split ring trapped here down the bottom as well and hide that fused section if you need to So in order to get a nice triangular pattern here, what we need to do is alternate the crowning. Our first set of crown knots went around anti-clockwise, so our second knot is going to go around in the opposite direction, which is clockwise. I'm just going to come in over that red piece. And then I'm going to take this red over the blue and the yellow. And then the yellow I'm also going to take over the red and finally down through that loop. So that's our second set of crowning and careful as you tighten it up. Again we want to trap that tag end right in the center of the crown knot. So eventually that's going to get completely hidden. So tighten it all the way up. And our next set of crowning will go anti-clockwise. So I'll take the yellow over the red. This red is going to come around over both the yellow and the blue. And then the blue is going to go over the red and down through that yellow loop. Again, carefully tighten it up, trapping the tag end in the center. And mine's almost hidden now, so depending on how long yours is, just continue trapping it in the center until it's disappeared. So again alternating the crown knots we went anti-clockwise so this set is going to go clockwise blue over the red red over both the blue and the yellow yellow over the red 
and then down through that blue loop. Again, tighten that up. And we just need to continue that, alternating between going clockwise and anti-clockwise as we continue the crown until we get our keychain to the desired length. Once you get the crowning to the desired length, there's a few ways you can finish this one off. The easiest is just to make sure that this final crown knot is nice and tight and then cut and singe these excess pieces. I am going to tie a wall knot to finish it off and my final set of crowns went clockwise. So to finish this one off, I'm also going to follow that pattern this time and go clockwise and to tie a wall knot we're going to take the strand underneath instead of over. So I'm going to take that yellow under the blue and then the blue under the yellow under the red so under the next two strands and then the red underneath the blue and underneath the yellow which means it will come up through that yellow loop. So just, just like that. And now as I tighten this up, I want to make sure that it's underneath this final crown. So gently draw it together and then give it a final tighten. Just by pulling on each of these strands. And then you can finally finish it off by cutting and singeing these excess pieces. So cut the excess piece off close to the end of the knot and then carefully with your lighter just get the end trying not to damage the rest of the knot. Just try and heat the stub up and then press it flat with the edge of your lighter. And then repeat for the other two pieces. So here we are with the finished keychain. If you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe button because we talk about functional and decorative knots here all the time. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. I like you all, and I'll see you on the next video.